Getting through Rita's Tower on PlayStation's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Mega Battle. Um, I'm going to show you how the best way I think to get to level 50. Um, so what you want to do is hopefully you'll have enough pads to be able to have two extra players on your side. This is by far the easiest way to do the level 50. Um, purely because if you get killed you get a chance to be revived so you've got a second and third chance basically to carry on with the levels um, if you're playing it on your own there's less enemies but like I said if you die that's it you, you've gone you can only get health on every tenth level so some as you get further on it's a lot harder to get through it um, whereas if you have all three characters uh, there's more of a chance to survive and you can leave two uh, you'll notice through the video I leave two at either corner of the screen so then the enemies will just focus on them then with my main character which I'm going to be using Jason uh, he can run around and attack everyone uh, and then just heal people when I need to um, a few things I would say before we start definitely have all the characters leveled up to a level 11 have all the moves set have all the energy stamina um, power increases so they all have maximum health because uh, then when you revive them they will get half the energy back which you'll need just to keep them alive for a bit longer uh, I would suggest using Jason as your primary character because for me he is the best one as you can see on the stats he's the all-rounder now you're mainly going to be using the power sword for triangle and that's got a great reach so it's just the best weapon to use I picked Trini the Yellow Ranger because she, as you can see from her stats she's the fastest character um, so when I'm in a jam with Jason down I can switch to Trini quickly run around the screen and heal him quickly um, I also picked Tommy because on the stat front he's got the best martial arts and I thought that would help but after playing through it he might not be the best character to use but he's just cannon fodder in this so the main two I use a Trini and Jason if possible uh, so let's get things started and we'll show you some some basics for the first few levels and then the video is going to jump to like level 40 something uh, just to show you the last few bits so at the start what you want to do is you want to switch to your sub characters get them to fight all these enemies so that they can build up the blue bar and morph because you want to get these morph as soon as possible because these are the characters you're not going to be using um, and when they're morphed you obviously get more moves and abilities so as soon as you can morph them switch to your next one which my sub character is Tommy the Green Ranger so just get him more it doesn't matter if you're going to take hits on these first early levels because like I say these ones are easy so we've got Tommy and Trini morphed so we can now switch back to my main character which is Jason and we can start killing the others now what you want to do is move your two characters that you're not using to either side of the screen because now you'll see that enemies will go and attack them while you're free to focus on the odd one or two that come to you so you can just quickly move around attack them all try not to get hit build up your bar and eventually more so let's deal with all these run into the group more and now you want to use Jason's sword because it's the best one to use. If you do the combo where you press triangle, triangle, wait a second and then carry on pressing triangle, you can do another attack and extend the combo. Um, as far as when you build up the power meter, the blue bar, you press R2 to quickly attack them. You can break their defense with that. You also want to use it on the birds. The Tengu warriors that fly towards you because you can break their wing shield uh, and you'll also find it useful on the guys with the whip so always try and keep your power meter up high as soon as you use it you're pretty much going to keep it up because there's so many enemies to attack it, the bar just fills up so okay on the next round when it starts remove two characters either side of the screen and use your main character to just fight the enemies take your time uh, and just yeah, just do what you can. Again, use Jason's sword because you can just knock the shit out of people with that. Triangle, triangle, pause, triangle, triangle again. Just 
be aware that the yellow bar at the bottom will run out, so you won't be able to just use your sword all the time. So when that happens, just switch to the other punches and wait for it to build back up. It doesn't really matter if you get hit, like I say, it's easy at the start. And the putties, the putties are the ones that probably will hit you the most. Because they are the, com the most common enemy, and there's a lot of them. But they don't do much damage, so it's not really a problem. So again, just keep fighting. And, and always keep an eye on the other player's health. You always need to be aware of what health they've got left, especially when you move on to the later floors. Um, I would definitely suggest that whenever your main character's health goes below that of your second sub-character, so for me it would be whenever my health is lower than Trini's, the yellow ranger, I would switch to her and purposely let the red ranger die. Um, that way I can build up his health and get more for the next level. So if, so if you find you've got one enemy left on the floor and your health's a bit crap for all of them, just let them all die slowly. It'll take a while, but it's safer than going into the next room with only a smidgen of health for each character. So it's a good little tactic to use. Um, I think for me, when I did this and got to level 50, it took me about an hour and a half. So with the more characters you have, the longer it will take because there are more enemies to compensate for the amount of players. Um, as you can see, Trini has now gone down, so all I need to do is go over to her and press L2 several times to heal her. She's now got half the health back, uh, but Jason has still got more health, so I'll carry on using him. Um, as you can see, Tommy is also close to death now, so... So, heal them. You won't see me use it much here, but... The blaster, which is used by Circle, is very useful, especially on some of the tougher enemies. You can actually shoot Madam Web after she attacks um, with the pistol, so you don't always have to get in close to her. And it's quite useful, especially when you need to clear a crowd like you just saw, because you can knock enemies back into each other. So it's a way of... Oh, you only shoot one, but you hit several others to the floor. Okay, so we move on to the next floor. Now you want to, again, roll the characters to either side of the screen, and then slowly attack them. Now, whenever you see puddings with guns, you want to focus on them first. They are the most annoying enemy, because you'll forget where they are, and they'll shoot across the screen while you're busy fighting someone else, and you'll just get hit by them. And especially later on, when it's more critical, you don't want to just fail it because you got a cheap shot. So always go for them first. If, even if you've got the knights, the whips, and Madam Web characters on screen, and the Minotaurs, you can easily avoid those bigger enemies. So just go for the ones with the guns first. I would always suggest that. A quick way to kill them is to use the blaster twice. Two shots will take them out. So feel free to use that. And then see, as you can see now, I'm I'm clear to just focus on the other characters. They're all ganging up on Tommy at the minute, so we'll just kill some of these. But, as you can clearly see from this, it makes it so much easier because you haven't got every single enemy coming for you at all times. So, it's very much just a lot easier. It's not as hectic, even though there are more enemies on screen, if that makes sense. Okay, so now we've got the flying enemies that have introduced. Always use triangle on these, it's just so much easier to kill them. Um, if you have to, use square if it runs out, but triangle seems to be the best one, I find. Especially with Jason. So, we'll keep going on with these enemies. Kill these. Trini's about to die. Tommy's not doing great either, but Jason's still got a lot of health, so we'll just carry on. Floor 6 now. When you're on your own, you can probably now. But again, it doesn't really matter. So here we've got some good enemies. We're going to try and get them first. So we've got those. Shoot those, shoot that one. 
take those out. Quick spot along. Trini's flying across the screen for some reason. They're both down now. He's still trying to shoot her. And now we'll get her up. And we'll move her back over here. Keep Tommy that side. Shoot those. Again, the first few, I'd say up to about level 20, it, well, floor 20, whatever you want to call it, it's pretty easy. You shouldn't have too much trouble. And here we can see. It's flying only again, either the sword or the kick. It doesn't really matter, actually. They're both pretty good, actually. Those power moves that you can do, they're not really worth it, to be honest. As you can see, they're a bit awkward to do, and they don't really do much damage, I don't think. Um, the, the gun and the sword are the things you want to use the most. Okay, so here we are on another floor now, floor 7. So again, roll them into the corners, and then just dispatch them with Jason. Take them out, stop them killing him. See, that's the sword combo, that's just great. You saw how it just cleared the, the area of them then. It just scattered them all back and just made a bit of room for everyone to breathe. Move Tommy over a bit. So again, more gun enemies, so we want to try and hit them first. They are a, they are a pain in the ass. So now they're clear, we can just focus on the, the more simpler enemies. Kill them up there. Kill the pudding. So that's another floor completed. So again, roll them into the corners. For these, for this area, you can just stay on the top, really. Um, it's a good way of just slowly luring a few up. And as soon as they jump up, you can hit them, so... It's a good way to just be safe up here, but be aware. But anyway, let's jump down here. We'll now take out the gun guys quickly. So we just shoot them two times each, takes them out, and then we'll get the rest with the sword. Bang bang. Red flying ones, just be aware that they will sometimes do a sort of suicidal explosion like you just saw there. So always be aware that if you hit them a bit too much or if you leave them too long, they might just kamikaze. Uh, it is quite a nasty attack that, so watch out for it. So we'll just kill some of these putties, we'll heal Tommy, and then we'll go and heal Trini before completing the level. Um, just so you know, as you can see, there's a timer on the healing, so once that white circle goes fully black, that character will be dead permanently. So always try and get them up as quick as possible. Uh, also be aware that if you, I'll show you now, if you finish a stage while they're downed, they will get back up, but they will not have as much health as they would if you had healed them. I think they'll only have a quarter of health now, so you'll see it. Yeah, see, she hasn't got as much now. She would have had half health if you'd healed her. So just be aware of that as well. So again, kill the ones with the guns first. Always make them the priority. Then just go in and kill the others with the sword attack or punches when it runs out. Um, again, keep them always, keep the other two in the corners just so it clears up a bit of the screen. Instead of, if you have them in the middle, you're gonna get you're gonna find they're all just grouped together and it's just awkward. Again, jump and attack the airborne enemies. These these are really easy, these these fly things. There you go, that was the, the stealth thing. The kamikaze thing even. So again, floor nine done. We're now on floor ten. We haven't had much trouble at all at this point. Um, this floor will be easy. The tenth floor of every area is always easy. 
It will introduce maybe a new enemy, but these knights are a piece of piss. All you need to do is jump and press square and you can kill them. Wait for them to get back up and you do it again. And they will always be trapped. They won't even be able to attack. As you can see, that one's down now. But okay, he attacked, but that's because I missed. Uh, but be aware, they do always get out of the way of that. But as you can see, they're not exactly hard. Now, as you complete the 10th level, you get health, so you may as well move those characters back in, fill everyone's health up, and then you will jump onto the next area. So this is always good for your primary character, just to fill him up fully. So again, same principle, roll them into the corners, and we'll just carry on fighting. Now, I would suggest trying to attack the knights when they're in a group, because you can easily kill a few of them. But you may find it's easier to just walk around if they're chasing you, walk around the screen, they'll eventually they walk slower so you will lose them quick. And then just attack the puddies, because they're the ones that will hit you more. Um, the knights do more damage, but the puddies are a lot faster. And the knights are just so easy to kill, so it's not really a they're not really a threat. So you're better off taking out the puddies first, I think. And if you're lucky, the knights will focus on your other characters, so it's not too much of an issue. So again, just slowly dispatch the puddies. And then take out the knights which they're standing up by jumping and pressing square. Again, you can't hit them when they're attacking, like you just saw, so wait for them to stop their three hit combo. Attack them, as soon as they stand back up again, hit them again. Easy. We're now on to floor 12. So again, roll them into the corners and stand on the top floor yourself if you need to. It will lure some putties up. And you can just slowly attack these now. The safety of the top floor. Come down to get some enemies. Trini's about to die. I'm not sure if bullets hurt the knights, so just yeah, always do the jumping. Trini's down now. We want to get over there. Tommy's also down, so we're just. Lord the Knight over here, and then we'll sprint across, shoot the buddies, just tap L2 quickly to heal them both, and then we'll just kill the Knight, might as well roll the character back over, just slowly dispatch all the other enemies. Very simple. You won't really, you shouldn't really have too many problems for a, a good while yet. But I just wanted to show you this so you can get a general idea of just how you should be playing it. But also make use of the roll, even when you're not evading anything, it's just a good way to get across the other side of the screen quickly. Uh, sometimes it can be a bit awkward to double tap the run. Uh, and I just like to do it anyway because it looks cooler. So again, swallow them into the corners. We've got some gunners on this one, so we'll try and take them out. First. Some of them are still alive. We'll shoot him down, he's gone. Watch out for his attack. Take these out now. Look, you can also get a group of them together and hit them all, so it's so easy. So easy to take out these guys. You don't really stand much of a threat. Those two gone. Another floor beaten. Oh no, not this way. So again, gunners again, so we'll just take these two out. Because they will be a pain. Trini is down. Easy, Atomi is down too. We'll get him up in a second. There we go. Yeah, 
as you can see, the knights are just so easy. Same attack, will just work wonders. It's a bit boring to fight these enemies, but hey, it's always an easy floor when you see lots of them. And now we're going to the 13th floor. 14th floor now. Again, we've got some gunners, so we'll try and take all these out as quickly as possible. The extended sword combo is a good one to use when there's a group of them. As you saw, I knocked them all back, killed a load of them. See, this, this area would have been a lot harder if we focused on the knights first, because I'm telling you now, you would have got hit. You would have probably lost a fair bit of health, and it's frustrating to get shot as well. Next wave will spawn. In case you haven't noticed, every every floor has two waves. Even when you get to wave 50, it's still the harder ones. They still just have two. It's never any more, so you haven't got to worry about surviving three or four waves later on, or anything like that. So always be aware it's two waves. After you complete the first wave, just be prepared for the next ones to come in. They'll usually come in from the left side. Um, there are, there are, I've seen a few glitches on this as well when I've been playing. Um, sometimes, uh, as you're leaving the characters to stand still, sometimes you'll get enemies that just walk up to them, face them, and they just stand still as well, they don't attack. So if you ever get that happening, just leave those enemies to the very end because they're not going to do anything. Uh, I'll tell you more about the glitches in a second. So here we have the newest enemy, the flying bird fuckers. So the most effective way to kill them is to get your blue bar powered up and then attack with your superpower. Because they do that annoying little charge move. So as soon as we kill the gunners, we're going to try and build up the thing and then attack them. Oh, he's fucking killing me. So now we've got R2 to press. So we can press that. We've got the cloud of red. We just go up to them and spam square. And they get their block attack is defeated. And we can just easily dispatch them. They don't stand a chance for that. This triangle attack with the Tyrannosaurus coming out, it's quite useful. Um, it doesn't look like it's hurting the bigger enemies, but it's very effective on the knights. Um, it can also kill the whip guys as well, so feel free to use that if there's a lot of them grouped. So again, we've got the flying ones, so we haven't got our power up yet. So what you can do is you can dash in with triangle, which will break their attack and allow you to get a few hits on them. Um, it's not the greatest way of doing it, but when you get them in a group like that, it is effective. So you just run in, dash, and then attack. We can now do the power up, but first we'll just heal everybody before we lose them. As you can see, the birds do get stunned as well. Um, so if you get them stunned, feel free to just leave them for the time being and focus on someone else that's not stunned. Uh, so now we've got the power, we can just use square and just kill everything really quickly. Um, be aware, if you do use the bullets in this, the bar will go down a lot quicker. So just always use square, because as you can see there, I've built it back up by just one enemy. It shows the bar up. We're now probably going to have loads more birds. Oh no, it's the knight to see. Now this is where the, uh, this ultra power isn't as effective. Because uh, it doesn't really work on the knights. It's a bit awkward. So, because if you do your jump, it doesn't do that. And you can't do the jump attack now. So what you need to do on this is the triangle attack. You see it's hurting them there, look. He's gone. So that was very effective. That was a few hits and they went. So Tommy's down again. We'll just get Tommy up. He goes back in action. Do the triangle attack. Face on them. And he kills them. We'll get Trini up before completing the level so she's got more health. Always remember that. And then we'll attack this guy. And that's another floor completed relatively easy. Um, on to floor 17 now. Uh, other glitches, yes, that's what I was talking about. So yeah, sometimes enemies will just stand still and they won't attack. Uh, I've had a few enemies, such as the Minotaurs near the end. Uh, they will charge one of the characters. And as soon as they ran off screen, they just died. So, so that was quite useful. So hopefully you'll get that later on. 
Um, because Christ it helps, because they are a pain in the ass, those enemies. So again, charge into a bird, do the triangle attack to click up, and attack the enemy. Uh, as you can probably see now, Jason is getting low health. So what we want to do is we want to heal Trini now, and then we want to switch to her. So I've healed Trini, I'm going to switch to her, use her temporarily, and then wait for Jason to get killed. Because I'm stronger with Jason, I feel I'm more used to that character, so I would definitely suggest picking him, getting him healed, and then switching back. So he's down. Trini is very fast, so she can quickly move around the screen. She's a lot quicker than anyone else, that's why I picked her. So now Trini is healed Jason, I will switch back to Jason and just let the other characters get healed again. You can also break the shields, well, the wings of the bird by doing your uppercut punch twice. But sometimes it's a bit awkward, so I would suggest just running in, doing that, and then finishing up with the sword. You can see I've stunned him there, so now I can just go kick, kick, pause, kick, 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 kick. Takes him out. We'll get this one back on screen. Punch him once, he gets knocked to the floor. He should be, oh, he's not stunned now, because he's a bastard. We'll get him again. Bang, bang, bang. Probably gonna be stunned now. There we go. Sword, sword, pause, sword, 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 sword. Easy. Gunners again, so let's go for the gunners first. Watch out for the birds. Try and get the sword, guys. We've got the gun, guys, so that's good. Go for those now, just get the knights out of the way, they're a bit of a pain in the arse. So Tommy's down, Trini's almost dead too, but Jason's still got loads of health. So we'll carry on using him. We got hit there, but it doesn't matter. So run in. Uppercut with the sword. Watch out for those. I think, I think the bullets do work, but they have to be open. If they've got their wings covering them, then obviously it's not going to hurt them. So there we go, we've got another one. Trini can get back up again. Swipe the sword, knock it down. It is a bit slower like this, as you can see, but it does work. Last one. Yeah, when you do the when you do the sword swipe, walk, carry on walking forward a bit, then turn back around before you attack, because otherwise you'll do this backwards punch and you won't be able to carry on the combo. So that's a good tip there. I'll try and show you that on this level if I've cleared out the other enemies. So again, jump up the air, kill the flying ones with the sword, and then we'll dispatch with the Tengus afterwards. So Jason's losing his health again now. Trini's got a lot, but we've also got the power move, so we'll just use that on these. And then switch to someone else before we die. You can do the team move if you press L2, and it'll tell the others to press L2, but you are far better off. I didn't get Tommy up there, so he's gonna have lower health now. You are far better off just using square attack. It's much more effective than the team combos. Unless you can do the, the you know, I can't remember what it's called now, but the, the one where you have the blaster and everyone puts their swords and weapons together. But yeah, so as Jason is low, I'm gonna switch to Trini now and just carry on with her because I can't really use my power up move here. So it doesn't matter if my bar goes down now because I can easily refill it later. So we'll just use Trini, look how quickly I got hers up, so I can easily get Jason's back up in a second once he dies. So, and then we'll switch to Jason once I've healed him. Back to Jason, get Tommy up, and then we'll kill the knights. See, as you notice, the knights there were standing still, I shouldn't have attacked them, because they were, I don't know, they just forget to fight for some reason. That one there is watching Trini look, so... We can just focus on the ones that are moving. If you ever see that, just focus on the ones that are moving. See, they're not going to attack now. The Puddy's trying to attack. We'll knock him down. See, it took that one ages to fight him. And now he's just levering her. We'll finish them off. 
So there's one of the glitches I was talking about. Take out the police first. He's down. It's okay. Because Jason's got loads of health. Tommy's down now. We'll get him up. You can move slightly as well when you're healing. So don't feel like you've got to be stuck in place. You can sort of try and dodge people. Knights, just get them out of the way. Got the power up, so we'll kill this last knight and then we'll use the power on the Tengas to kill them easily. So as you see, just run up to them, press square, they'll eventually break their shield. And you just hammer them. That's another floor completed. We're now on to floor 20. We'll get another health pickup after we complete this level. Um, and we're half an hour in. So again, look, because it's the 10th floor, it's a fairly easy one. The enemies aren't exactly uh, big monsters or anything tough. It's just some simple putties. So it does go easy on you a bit, I guess. Uh, again, though, it'll still be two waves, just like every other floor. But you can breathe a sigh of relief here because you will get health. Oh, no, this was just one wave. Weird. I was wrong. That was strange. I swear every other one's too. Anyway, we'll carry on. Floor 21, we'll take that, we won't argue. So now we'll probably see another new enemy, I think. But if you play the single player mode, all the enemies you see here will be familiar to you. Um, we we'll definitely do a new enemy at some point. It'll probably be the whip guys. Which can be a pain. Especially when they're doing their extended whip attack where they just keep shaking it but what you can do is shoot them with a blaster and that will cancel their combo then which I didn't realize until I got to Rita's tower um, so yeah Watch out the bird. We'll kill the knights first because then we can use the power up on the other birds you guys are getting battered there so am I but it doesn't matter Now the knights are gone, we'll power up, and then we'll walk up to them, just spam square, look how easy they are to kill. And then we'll hope that there's some more. Here we go, I think there's another enemy maybe. Here we go, the whip guys. So if you powered up, you can easily kill them with that. Just stand next to them, spam square until they electrocute themselves and die. That single whip attack, as soon as they do that, they'll start to laugh. Then if you're not powered up, you'll be able to hit them with a normal attack then. If they do that, you can just shoot them, and it will cancel their combo, and then you can go in and hit them. And you can hit them then, um, even if you haven't got the power up like I have. So we'll heal them too. Close enough. I'm gonna hit this. Do the triangle move, because we've got the power move. That'll take him out quite easy. They got here, they do what they Yeah, so the whip guys, yeah. So they'll do one single whip attack and then they'll laugh. And then that's when you, they're vulnerable, so you can hit them then. Uh, or they will also do a extended whip combo where they'll just keep whipping it around the screen and walk towards you. So if they do that, you just have to shoot them once. That'll stop the combo and then you can just attack them easily. Yeah. Um, there is also a move where they will summon probably two putties I think it is from the ground if you shoot them as they're trying to do that you'll cancel that as well uh, and then they won't bring in two more enemies for you to worry about so that's always good to know again as we've got the Tengus what we really want to do is get powered up so as soon as you do that feel free to unleash it and then you can easily kill all these Tengus Tommy is down now so we'll get him back up first watch out for birdie take that one out more will spawn so we'll go for the whip guys first because they will do more damage than the birds the birds are a bit easier to avoid so there you can see he's doing that combo just shoot him look and it stops it cancels it right out 
And then we can just finish him off with a power-up move. A little heal training while that one's down. And then we'll take that one out. The bird over there stunned. I'm not sure how long they are stay stunned for. So maybe they will just permanently stay stunned now until I hit them. So we'll just see we'll see how long he stays stunned for. See, so that's a good idea. If you can hit them, knock them down with enough damage, you'll keep them stunned and just leave them. There's no need to attack that one now while you've got others moving. So now they're the last ones, we may as well finish them off. Bang bang bang. It just takes two enemies out, essentially, while they're still alive. Okay, we're now on to floor 23. And as you can see from the video, I hope you understand that I've not really had much trouble. I'm going to pause it here just to save the video. Right, so I just paused it just to, just to save the recording because I don't really trust the share play thing on this PlayStation. It seems to cut out quite a bit. So if you do notice a little jump there with the music, it was just me recording again. So I'll unpause now and we'll carry on with what we're doing. So we're getting a new round started. We'll move the characters to the other side of the screen, the ones that we're not using. And we'll focus on getting the puddies out of the way first. Purely because there's lots of them, they're easy to hit. I shoot my way out of this corner. I'm stuck. The whip guys, they're not too bad actually. I mean... They're annoying when they get their combo off and you can't always hit them. But just remember that as soon as they're laughing, after they've done a single whip attack, you can hit them. Uh, and if they do the extended one, which you're about to see there, just shoot them once. And then you can attack. So at the moment, we've got level 23. Uh, all characters have got under half health left, so... We may want to think about letting Jason die next. Uh, and then using Trini once she has more health. Um, because we don't want to go into a level at this stage with low health on all characters. So we'll try and take out those gunners first actually, because they're a pain on the back side and they will hit you. As you can see I'm getting hit there. There's just so many of them. Okay, I've lost a lot of bullets there, but I'll try and run in. Get them out of the way. Kill that one, just broke his combo. I got hit by that. It's annoying. He's laughed. As soon as he laughs, you can hit them. Get rid of that bastard. Okay, so now I'm gonna kill that one. And then I'm gonna let the guys die, and then I'm gonna let Jason die. So he's just spawned in two footies there. So there's that attack. Okay. She's died. He's died. We've now got to be very careful that we don't die. <laughs> so we'll wait for them to come over. And then we'll just run past them. Roll and then heal as quick as possible. And now we'll... Which I've accidentally pressed the share play button. So apologies for that. Accidentally paused it again there. Apologies. So... We've now switched to Trini, Jason's going to die, so we need to get him healed as soon as possible. So we're running with Trini, she's got a good attack, she, she can do it really quick and she's really fast. So that's why I picked her, because when you want to get across the screen, you can, you can move around quicker. She's a good character to use, so Jason's got hit there, but it doesn't really matter. She's now got less health than Trini, but Trini should got hit, so... We'll just leave it as it is for now. We'll just finish this area. They've all got a decent amount, so it's all right. So he's doing that attack. We'll shoot him, cancel his combos, and then you just hit him with a sword. He, they're so easy to kill, once you realize you can stop that move by just shooting them. I didn't think it would work. I thought it would just block it because they're whipping it, and it would just whip it out of the way. That's why I never used to use it in a single player, but I think I actually just shot him. I noticed it, so we want to know. So we'll kill the flying ones first, because they're just a pain. And then we'll try and focus on these whisk guys now. We'll just try and take these out as quick as possible. Use the gun. It's quite effective for these. And then use triangle. Do your sword attack. Uh, unfortunately, the knights will get in the way. But it's not too bad. Again, we're only on floor 25. We've got a long way to go yet. So we'll get Trini up. 
take out this shield guy because he's easy. Just jump and attack, easily kill him. Shoot that buddy. And then we'll go over there and get Tommy up. Shoot that guy. As you've noticed now by now, I'm not really using Tommy much at all because he's just he's essentially just the third character who's cannon fodder basically. Uh, he's just there to make make it so enemies are distracted at both sides of the screen. Uh, whereas Trini is my second in command, so she will be the one I use when Jason dies, as you've seen already. I tried to shoot that one there, but I couldn't shoot him in time to cancel that teleport move. But it doesn't matter. I'm quite hitting there. Sword evil, which is annoying. Um, as you see now, I stopped that move where he was trying to summon more buddies. So that was good. As soon as you see him bend down like that, try and shoot him. And then attack with the sword. So now I'm probably going to have to let Jason die again now. And then heal them both. Because I am low on health. And I don't really want to go to floor 25 with that much health on my main character. So we'll heal him. Or her rather. And then we'll let Jason get killed. Hopefully. He will attack her. Seems to want to come for Trini and not. Oh god, he really wants to hit Trini. Okay, there we go. We let Jason die. Sorry, Jason. But you needed the health. So that's another floor complete. 25 now. We are now halfway. I think we do another new enemy now as well. I think probably Madame Webb, maybe. She's got to be coming up soon. Oh no, it's the bird ones. Yeah, these are a pain as well, especially when, if you leave them too long, they will shoot that cannon, so I would definitely should just go for them first. If you have the gunner hoodies in there as well, I would say still try and get the ones in the air first, because it doesn't matter if you got the hoodies, because they won't be able to shoot you while you're in the air attacking these flying ones, whereas the flying ones can hit you on the ground, so I would definitely make them the priority. Um, so now we kill them, it's easy now because we just killed these puddies the same way we've been killing them for the past 20 fly floors. Uh, we'll take them out nice and quick. Try not to get hit on these. And that's another floor done. So now 26. So it looks like they don't always have two ways on because I don't think that did, did it? Okay, so we've got flying ones and the other birds. So we'll kill the ones that are actually in the air with a sword attack, try and dodge those lasers, and we'll just keep jumping up, if you run out of the sword, just use the square attack, that also works quite well, so now they're dead, we've got the fully up powered mode to press R2, whatever you want to call it, so we'll press that, and then we'll start dispatching these birds, go and get Trini up, and then we'll get ready to get Tommy up, because he's about to die as well, if you need to attack someone in the air and you've got the power combo, um, the triangle works really well in the air. You can keep extending it, so we won't kill him yet, we'll just get Tommy up. Just take the last one. More enemies come in, so while we've still got the power mode, we'll go for the Tengus now. We'll just take them out easy. Watch out for those balls. He's stunned, so we don't need to hit him anymore. And now we'll go for these flying buckets. Jump in the air, try to attack. See, I've just wiped them out with relative ease. Jump back up. If I can do that without getting hit. Struggling at the minute. There's another one down. God, what a son of a bitch. And then we've got them. As soon as they land, you can punch them like that. Just keep doing it, don't let them up. You might want it because if you can only get one hit like that, it's a bit of a pain. So, yeah. But there you go, that's another floor done. Fairly easy. Haven't really struggled yet. Uh, we're 41 minutes in now. So we'll go for the flying ones again, just, just to get them out of the way. They're, they're the biggest pain in the ass. The knights, they're not a threat. They really are not a threat. I mean, if you do actually get hit by them, they will take off damage, but they're very easy to avoid. They do a three hit combo, and that's about it. They don't, they don't do anything else. I don't think I've ever seen them do a different move. Quite, quite shit really. Uh, so we've got one more flying one now, so we'll try and get him. 
Put him down, and now we'll just start punching these guys. Again, they've glitched out over by Tommy. They're slow at attacking. They seem to just like to stand there now. Trini's almost down, so we'll heal her in a second. Just take out a few more of these. He still seems to want to attack Trini, even though she's down for some reason. Tommy's just gone, so we'll get him up very quickly. Mm, could probably do with switching to Trini now as well, because we've taken damage, but I'm going to risk it. Go to the next round with a powered up Jason. So we'll get rid of these whips because we've got the power move. We've also been lucky enough to group the gunner into that one there. We'll try and get the gunners first because I didn't notice them straight away. Gunner's gone. They're doing attack. I just shoot the pistol to block their attack. Their combo's broken. And then move in. Jump up and hit them with the sword. I'm not actually hitting them, but I'm carrying on with the combo. Let's get that up. Get rid of this guy. Line yourself up the shadows. Get Jason killed. She's easy to have been done. Trini! No! Come on, bad man. Jason is down. Heal him. Let's switch back to Jason. So to finish this fucker up. So now we can go into the next level with half my health. So I should be alright now. So again, what we've been doing for the past 28 floors, move them to the right, and then we'll try and kill these guys as quick as possible. So we haven't got much gun bullet now. So we'll just try and get that up as quick as possible. But kill the gunners first. Triangle is very effective there because you can scatter them across the screen. Very useful. So Trini's down, we want to get her up as quick as possible. And, and shoot those, shoot those, keep shooting. Got hit a bit there, doesn't matter. He's whipping us, shooting to stop it. Getting attacked in the corner, but that doesn't matter, we heal Tommy. Get out of that corner. Cancel that out. Attack them. Take them out. Some more come in. Get rid of the gunner. Attack someone else while he's downed. Shell for the night. Almost dead. Tommy's at the motel for a minute. Tommy, best one to use now. We'll get him up. And we'll switch back. Now, them two are groups, so we want to move one of them away. And then we want to start fighting against this Jason. So, yeah, uh, at this stage, you may find that your main character dies a bit more, but as long as you're aware of what's going on, what your other teammates' helps are like, you should be okay. Um, you will get a few hairy moments, but. If you switch to Trini, she's a lot faster, so you can quickly run out and dodge and just leg it to the one that you need to heal, basically. Um, yeah, we've got two more enemies now. We should probably let one of them die, just so they've got a bit more health. So Tommy's down, we'll take that one. Trini might get killed now by the time I kill this knight. No, he's decided to come for me, so I'll just finish him off. And then Trini can be healed on the next floor pretty easily. Um, floor 29. Here we go. So I will attack. Attack. And I will just pause it to save the video again. Okay, so we're now on floor 49. Um, I just had to pause it there briefly. Apologies. So let's get back to the action. So. Trini, as we saw, has just died. I'll try and get her up, and then we'll carry on fighting enemies. So, let's do it. 
kill those flying fuckers. Sword, make great use of that sword attack because it's so brilliant. Much better than the punches, I think. It's just a shame that it runs out. I'll kill these enemies. Shot over the back of the head, harsh but effective. Shoot the gunners first, just just to make sure they're down. Watch out for those lasers. Now let's kill the birds. Now the next most annoying enemy to face up against. But I think they always shoot three bullets as well. Always be aware of that. Take out those putties. Only those left now. Let him get up. Kick him in the air. Seems to have gone. <laughs> Okay, floor 30, so if we finish this level, uh, we'll get more help. It should be an easy one, this. So, let's see. So, these guys are pretty simple. You shoot them, you stun them. Easily attack them, get him up, and then we'll get help. Gives you far too much health there, but it's a shame. Shame you can't keep it. <sighs> so now, floor 31. We're getting close now, it's going to get harder now. Um, I suspect we'll get a new enemy. Yep, as you can see, Madam Web has appeared. Now, she's a bit of a pain in the ass. She will do a teleport like that. Uh, if she teleports behind you, get out of the way because she'll do a claw attack and try and hit you. But the worst attack that she does is what you just saw, those white lines going across the screen. Because the amount of times you're going to get hit by them, they're just they're just awkward to dodge. Um, I would suggest trying to go for her first, but I'm just going to clear out the knight so I can just show you her fight a bit better. Um, I would say go for her purely because of that white attack. Because you'll do it in a crowd, and then you'll be fighting someone, and all, you, all of a sudden you just get hit by this fucking light. So, we'll try and attack these, and then I can show you the best way, I think, to get rid of these fucking quickly. Uh, in case you haven't guessed already, it's a combination of sword and gun attacks. Okay, I'm they're dead. So yep, yeah, she's just teleported behind Jason and then she sort of goes Aah! in the air. So as soon as she does that you can hit her. Um, there we go. Walk around her, attack her with the sword. If they do that white light, as soon as they've shot that out, you can start firing your gun and you will hit them and you will do damage to her. As soon as she looks like she's going to die, when she does that Aah! in the air, she's going to do that tornado and pull you in. So always run out of the way before she does that. So as soon as she does that white attack, you can shoot her twice, I think, and it will damage her. There you see, she's just died. She does that tornado. She's done an attack there, so we can hit her a bit. Get out of the way, because she's going to do that tornado again. Now there's probably going to be some more, so we'll just move them around. Let's get rid of the whip guy first, it's easy to kill. Shoot her, because she's doing that attack. Shoot, 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 shoot. Hit that one because she's teleported behind me. She's dead. Watch out for the other attack. Whip fucker got me, but it doesn't matter. Kill him now. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Heal Tommy. Could have hit her then, but it was better off healing the character. Sword guy pissing me off and all. Yeah, you can see now it's it's getting hectic now. Um there's a lot more going on, and there's a lot more things to be aware of. There's a lot of different attacks to do on the enemies. That guy's just fighting the air, but we'll kill him now. And oh, she hit me. You'll notice as well, when they die in the corner of the screen, the the, the dead icon glitches. And you'll see it somewhere else on screen, so it's a good it's a good glitch because it makes you aware of a character that's dead that you might not have noticed. Um, 
it's basically the revive circle that you'll see glitch in sort of like the middle of the screen. Uh, yeah, it's just something to look out for in case you haven't noticed that someone's gone down. We'll get rid of this knight. Pain in the ass. Where's he going to teleport? She's teleported over there, so we'll just shoot. We've got her. Easy. Uh, the gun is most effective on her than anything else. Uh, yeah, as soon as she does a teleport attack, move out of the way. If she comes by you, then just attack her. If she does the one with the white light, just shoot her as soon as she's doing it, and you will damage her. It might not look like you are, but you will definitely be damaging her. So, here you can see we've got a shitload of enemies now. So, you can see my point about the gunners. You definitely need to take them out first. Because when they're just spamming the screen like this, it's just so annoying. So, fortunately, we killed them quite quickly there, so that's good. We'll now kill the birds, because they also attack with the projectiles. And it's just a bit annoying. So she's attacked there. We'll shoot, shoot, shoot. 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 Again, and again. And she's down. We'll jump in and kill the bird. Separate those. Is there any gunners? No, there's no gunners now, but there's a fucking tank in there. We'll kill the flying bird first. is down so we definitely you definitely want to be more aware of the characters when they die now uh, and you definitely want to try to heal them straight away as you can see there's a shitload of fuck going on right now but we've got her up and then roll her out the way if you can get her across the screen just so that some of the enemies follow her but always try and keep moving with Jason as well so you're not just stuck so we'll get Tommy up and then we'll try and start fighting some of these now just to make it a bit more bearable Kill a few of these off. See, it's slowly gets easier once you take out a few of them. Kill her now with two bullets. Easy. Unfortunately, can't really do much about that. Just trying to run away from the tornado. We'll kill that fucker. We'll go over there. We'll run and charge attack. Oh shit, I missed. Run and charge attack. A turn and attack with a sword. He's down. Easy. So that's floor 32 done. Now to 33. Uh, I think there's only one more enemy type now as well, the Minotaur, but I don't think he comes until about the 40th. So it's pretty much the same now, standard, uh, all the way to the end. Uh, Ten Goos, of course. Best way to do it, power up again. We'll move in, attack the square. Watch out for any of that are going to attack me. Roll out of the way. Rolled into them, that was stupid, but good matter. Got the off screen. Kill them. Someone's down because we just saw the glitch thing of the icon in the middle of the screen. Tommy's down now as well, so we'll roll back over and we'll get him up. Uh, I'm feeling pretty comfortable playing as Jason at the minute, even though I've got less health than the other two. Um, I'm still going to stay as him, but. For other players, I would definitely recommend maybe switching and letting him die now. But because I've got the power move, I just want to dispatch these Tengus really quickly. Um, well, I might actually die. So what I'll do is I'll kill the Tengus and then I'll let these flying birds kill me. So I'll switch to Trini now while I'm letting Jason die. I think he's going to be in there. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll just quickly switch back. So it's a great tactic. It makes this so much easier. It might be a bit cheap, but it's not really cheating because you are fighting all of them on your own. 